Hi guys, so in today's lesson we're going to do some basic commands using Python to put and get items from DynamoDB. Um, so there's a few prerequisites to this, um, this lesson. First of all, you have to have an AWS account. Um, there's a video on this channel of how to sign up. You have to have CLI tools installed um, on whatever operating system you're using. Again, there's a video on this channel. A basic understanding of what DynamoDB is would go a long way and again, there's a video on this channel for that. Um, and you have to have Python installed on your computer or laptop. There's not a video for that on this channel, but there are plenty out there on YouTube. Um, I've also put all the code up on GitHub. So if you go to johnny chivers forward slash put get items dynamo db python, I'll put a link in the description as well. All the code we use today is available there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a few checks. Um, on our on our IDE, so you can use any IDE you want. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but it's um, personal preference. So the first thing you need to do as a requirement is to make sure that you have Bodo 3 installed. Bodo 3 is the library that lets you work with AWS and Python. So if I'm going to import Bodo 3 by typing import Bodo 3, you can check that you have Bodo 3 installed by on the console or terminal typing pip install Bodo 3. As you can see, the requirement is already satisfied on my, my computer, so I have it installed. If I didn't have it installed at this point, it would go on ahead and install it for me. Um, and by doing so, then we can actually use Python to interact with DynamoDB. Okay, so that's the first check. The next thing we need to do is actually set up a DynamoDB table. So if we go to the console and we type in DynamoDB, we'll arrive at the DynamoDB page. I'm going to go to Tables. I'm going to create a new table. And again, there's a video on this channel if you want more explanation on what I'm doing. I'm going to call the table name Movies. Um, and I'm going to give it a partition key of m title, as in movie title. And add a sort key. I'm going to add a sort key of year. We could change this to int, but for simplicity of this demo, I'm going to keep it as a string. So we're just going to keep both as a string. Title, year. And we're going to go ahead and create that table. It might take a few seconds for this table to be created. So I'm going to pause the video here and we'll pick it up once it's done. Okay, that literally took about two seconds. So um, as you can see, the table of movies is now created. We have no items in it, but we have a title and year. And bearing in mind, both of these are strings. The next thing we're going to note is the region that we're in or you are in. So I'm in EU West 1. You could be in a different region, but just remember what region you're in by clicking the top right and getting it from the console. That's important because we need to set up our CLI tools to be in that region. So if we type in AWS configure list, we'll find out what region we're in. So you can see from here, I'm actually in region EUS one. And that's important because you can only interact um, by default, the Bodo library, which is set in your, in your console. You can specify other regions, but for simplicity, I'm going to keep it this way on the default. Okay, if you're not in the correct region of your table, you have two options. You can go back and create your table in the correct region or the region that matches your CLI tools. Or alternatively, you type in AWS configure and you hit enter for the commands that are correct. So I don't want to change my secret access key. I don't want to change that value either. Region name. So if this was the wrong region, I would type in EU or whatever region you're in, US West 1. That sets it now to the region that I've just specified and I want it in JSON format. So let's know your region configured correctly. So the first thing then we're going to do is actually set up a Bodo3 client. And this means that it will go and set up Bodo3 to let me use the DynamoDB commands. And to do this, what we're going to type with a comment is hashtag uh, DynamoDB client. And then we have to go and get the client with the name. So the variable is going to be dynamo db underscore client. So this is just my variable name equals boto three dot client open brackets. And then as a argument specify dynamo db. And what this means now is that this variable dynamo db client is set to the dynamo db client in Bodo 3 so we can use the libraries. Perfect. The next variable I'm going to set up is actually the table name just to make things simpler. So again, we'll take a comment 
which is a hash tag in Python, and we'll call it table name. And we'll call the variable, for simplicity's sake, table underscore name equals the table name that we set up in DynamoDB, which is movies. So that's just coming from here, movies, movies. And again, that's just for simplicity. Everything we'll do today, we'll keep it in the main method. So in Dynamo, if main equals main, oh, slightly too much there, pass. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. So again, this is the main method. You can write it all as one script, but again, I'm keeping it very simple. I'm gonna do everything inside the main method today. So the first thing we wanna do is put an item into our table. And to put an item in our table, we have to use the client. And the client, as it said above, is DynamoDB client. And we want to put an item. So it's quite simply just dot put underscore item. <clears throat> Pardon me. Dot score underneath item. And then we have a couple of arguments that we have to put in. So then we put in our brackets and we specify table name, which is the variable table name and it wants to know what our table name is called. So I've called it movies up here. So we take it down and movies. And the next thing we do is then tell it the item that we want to put in. So our item that we want to put in, we haven't set yet. So it's item equals the items we want to put in. Now, to put in an item, it has to be sent down as a key pair value or a dictionary in Python. So to keep this, easy to read. I'm actually going to write the items up here and then move it down into this variable. So again, I'm just going to take a, a comment saying item, and I'm going to put in the Scarface movie, Scarface movie. I'm going to call the variable item underscore Scarface, so easy to read, equal. And then we have to write a Python dictionary. So that's curly brackets, because it's going to be key value pairs. And the first thing we have to specify is the keys. So the key is title and year. So title is the first key. So title. And then on the other side of the key value pair is actually another JSON as a key value pair. And the first argument or the key of that JSON is the data type. So the data type here is strings with S. If it was a number, it would be N and so on. So it's S and then colon, and then you put in the actual title that you want to call the movie. So in this case, it's Scarface, then it's comma, and the second key inside the first dictionary is the year, and this is why I kept it simple. And the year I set up as a string, if you remember back to the start of the video, and the key value per of the year is 19, 83. Okay, now I'm just going to take that up a little bit. So let's run through that again. So it's a dictionary key value pair. The title is then a key value pair of the data type and what we're actually calling the variable itself. So title is equal to Scarface. The second key value pair is the year, which is inside our table is the sort key. It's the data type, which I set up as string. Again, you can set that up as something different if you want, and it's equal to 1983. Okay. Back down into our code in the main method. So dynamodb client dot put item. So get the dynamodb client, get the put item code or command. The table name is equal to the table name, which is the table name of the movies. And the item is then equal to item underscore Scarface. We save that and you run your code. You actually won't see anything returned because I didn't put a print statement. We'll solve that in a little second. But if we go to our DynamoDB, you'll see that the item is equal to Scarface. Now, actually, because we're making a web request, if we wanted, we could have a variable called response equal to our statement. And then what we want to do is print response. Okay, print the response. And this time, if we print, you can see you get a lot of metadata back about the item. So for instance, 200 was successful. It printed it, the time and date that it went, the application.json, it was two, um, content was two in length, title and year, kept alive. So a lot of information there. But again, we don't actually need that for the purpose of this demo. 
it's just information if you want to just write a log and again we'll just put a little comment in here um so we know what it was doing um hashtag uh put item sorry put item into db okay so that's putting the item in so we have an item in now even though i ran that twice we're only getting one item because this is our key value we're actually updating on scarface so the next thing we're going to do is actually get um the item back again so if we take a few lines of space um we put in a, another comment saying get items and this time we're going to put in dynamo db clan dot get underscore item because we're getting items open the method brackets again table name is equal again to table name and this time instead of item we put in key with a capital k so key equals then we have to specify the key so the key itself is already listed above but for clarity and again for clarity i'm going to do it again so uh, this is get items and this is going to be equal to item underscore get equals the key value per so it's actually the same key value per above because we want to get the same results back so i'm just going to copy it down for speed but again title equals a scarface year equals 1983 and i'm just going to save that okay so what we then need to do is set the key equal to the items get variable so items or item get variable sorry is that now this time we are getting a response so we need to set our response variable equal to DynamoDB and then what we want to do is print out our response like so and if I hit run excellent we get a JSON back which is what I've set up to do with the response message now you can see that the item is returned with the title Scarface the year response metadata is another key for and it has a lot of response metadata so to bring this down a little bit what i'll do first is i'll hit print and then we're looking for the response and we want the item out of the response so we just put in a key of item with a capital i and the other thing i'm going to do is just comment out that line of code so we're not constantly inserting to the table costing us money with the same variable so this time when i run it you can actually see that the only bounces back the type the item uh, key value per but for clarity what i'll do is i'll clear the console and just run that again one last time um as you can see we're printing out above the first line where we get everything and the second line where we get title only so if we comment out the first line oh, hit the wrong button there if we comment out the first line we see it I clear the console um we print you can see that i only get back the item so if i just wanted the title then i go a step further so i'll copy this one down below and i would then search on title and if i just comment out this as well for clarity and i run you can see now that we've got it as a string type scarface and just as one last piece of clarity if i then go further and i type in s we should in theory just get back scarface from our dynamo db so that's it for today's lesson um it's very simple it's just the basics of starting to get and put items from dynamo db a um, couple of things are to look out for is to make sure that you've got the correct movie name um, if you don't know the name of your table you can search it in command line so if you clear and you say aws dynamo db list hyphen tables it should bounce back and you should see your table name in there the other thing to remember is to make sure you're in the correct region so the correct region is clear it's aws um, configure list and therefore you'd be told what region you're in um, i hope you find this useful um, feel free to download the code from github and play around and i look forward to the next video thank you very much